it's been an impressive performance by Canada here, but you have to give it to the French yeah. and the Kiwis who didn't have the best start, made it to mark their fourth and seventh respectively, and have moved up into the top three. Here we go, big moment coming here. Let's watch this. France has the right oh, okay. way. Does the Royce has been moving ahead? No, he doesn't. That's the voice of the Robertson coming up to be behind. He must keep clear now. Oh, 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 France sets up for a turn. It's going to be really tight at the bottom. Has Robertson judged this correctly? So the Canadians have dropped out the seven second momentarily, but do they make up for it? Here we go. He's got to squeeze down to the game. Oh, this is really tricky here. They've got to get down to this fluid last game. And Canada on the inside, holding France out, ready for the finish. Swiss team, they're in fourth at the moment, they need to get up there, this is a crunch time, come on, give them a shout, they're driving away from it, come on GBR! It's going to be tight here though, look, Canada coming in, now they're on port at the right of way is with the New Zealand boat who are to the right of our screen, it will be close to the bottom. And this is why Canada in the lead, because they're 51 and a half kilometers an hour faster than that previous night, and only two maneuvers. Great Britain and Ben Aisley, looks like he's going to be squeezed out by the Swiss team, it's tight in the pack, no room to breathe, any little mistake's going to have a huge consequence at this stage of the race. Canada, the wind has shifted in their favour, so they were sailing almost straight up the land lines. Great angle for them. Potentially, New Zealand are sailing faster, but Canada is sailing a shorter distance. Let's watch now, though. This cross will be crucial. New Zealand have the right away. Clear cross, though. Canada hold the lead, and it's going to be tight as they approach game three. So, Switzerland also getting into the mix now. They sit in second place on distance. Boats coming through with France mixing up with the Americans in 34. Americans have missed their jive again, falling off the falls. Disaster for America. It's going to be Canada in the lead. Dead rock from absolutely nowhere. And then come down to the Pierre. Has he got room to get around the outside? It's tight. What a turnaround at the bottom of the leg, but another mistake for the US. Oh, this is disastrous. They were sitting in second place. They now find themselves in seventh place and dead in the water. Both holes in the water. Meanwhile, Great Britain's catapulted from sixth place all the way up into fifth, moving up now into fourth. Fast and what a fantastic job. Back in the pack, it's Great Britain and New Zealand. They're going to have to find something special from here as Canada will already be thinking about the next move to set themselves for gate two. And look at those speeds in excess of 60 kilometers an hour. The Canadians just shooting out there. It's France that turns away first. The Americans now getting some company on the right-hand side from Denmark. The other line on the screen there, Tom. That's the lay line. That suggests that Canada have now put themselves in a position to sail straight down to gate two. Oh, something's gone wrong though. They're sailing right across those ladder lines. Big lull in the wind, not much wind. They can't sail where they want to. All the teams trying to turn left. To keep Let's hear one cheer for GBR Ben Ainsley. Come on! That's it. This is our team. This is who we need to get by. They can hear you. Thank you very much. We'll be back later. Enjoy the racing. One minute to go now with New Zealand. Sitting in a sixth place in Bermuda, fourth place in Chicago. This would be a nice time for them to turn things around.